Hey everyone, it's Kimberly with I Dream A Lot on eBay, Poshmark, Etsy, and YouTube. I'm a part-time reseller out of West Virginia, and I am here today to share a cumulative thrift haul. So I went to Goodwill in my area on Friday after work, um, which is basically par for the course, and then I check out what is going to be on sale the next day. So the color of the week changes on Saturday in my area. And um, yeah, so, and I kinda, I know like what color is going to be going on sale because they do it in, in order basically. So, um, they give it about four weeks or so of having an item on the floor before it goes to half off. And then it's half off all week. And then that following Sunday, it goes to 99 cents. So I go usually after work on Friday. I normally only work an hour or two in the morning on Fridays. And I spend... It just kind of depends if it's a pretty good day at the Goodwill. I may be there an hour and a half or so, sometimes two hours, but generally on Friday, it's like maybe an hour. Um, I take a good look around the store in all sections. I grab good items that I, you know, I don't want to wait for this item to go on sale. It's a great price and uh, I'm pretty sure I can make a good profit. So I'll pick those items up. And then there's other items where either they're overpriced or, you know, they're not, they're not great items. They're decent, they're good, but not great. And so I'm willing to take the risk at picking up the item, waiting to pick up the item on Saturday at half off. So then usually what I do is I go back on Saturday morning when they open and generally there's no one else in the store. It's just like super peaceful and quiet. Um, I love it, so nice. And Saturdays I usually end up spending about two hours there and then I'll usually venture out to another local thrift store um, and then sometimes, um, excuse me, another Goodwill in another about 15 minutes um, away. So that's kind of how I do my thrifting. Um, I'm very part-time because I do work full-time. So basically Monday through Thursday, like eight to, or eight, who am I kidding? <laughs> uh, nine to five. Um, <laughs> that was funny. Yeah. Uh, the owner of the practice, I'm sure would love it if I got there at eight o'clock. Not happening. Um, anyhow, Sometimes I'm not even getting in the shower till 8.15, let's be real. So anyway, eight to or 9 to 5, uh, Monday through Thursday, and then Friday morning I go in just to kind of wrap up the week. And that usually is like an hour or two. Sometimes it can be more, but generally I'm out of there by 11. So I have a thrift haul for you. I went to the Goodwill on Friday and then again on Saturday and I also stopped by the little small thrift store. Um, I think that was Friday. I don't think I went over there Saturday. It could have been Saturday, I don't know. And that's it. So let's jump into it. Um, I'm gonna start off with hard goods. I love selling hard goods, but I just don't have a lot of time <laughs> to devote to this business. Um, so I don't wanna overwhelm myself, but I did get a few hard, good, hard, hard goods. Um, so the first thing I got is this um, Leapfrog, uh, my first Leap had um learning system and it is pretty much complete um just based off of my initial kind of quick research but it has um the whatever kind of the tablet type device um and then it has a bunch of booklets so I'm not going to take everything out, but it has a bunch of these booklets, I think like eight, and then um, like eight of these little like games. Um, and 
I say games, using the term loosely because this is an educational system. Um, but yeah, it appears to basically have pretty much everything. Um, it needs batteries. I have not tested it. I'm pretty sure it works. It looks in very good condition. You know, probably didn't get much use. So I just put in the listing, because I think I've already listed this, um, that it needs batteries. Uh, and if they want to return it, that's fine. I, if it, they say it doesn't work, I'm willing to take that risk. I'm pretty sure it works, though. I'm pretty confident it works. Um, that, I didn't do my numbers, but I will do my numbers when I'm done and put it in the title. But basically, as you guys know, my average cost of goods is about $4. So I do like an average cost of goods at the end of the year, but really basically every thrift haul. And usually if you watch my videos, it's usually between $375 and $465, something like that. Um, so just consider this $4 and I should get about $30 for it. And if you're new here, I've changed up my business model and I'm doing my best to pick up uh, items that will sell for $30 or, or more, obviously. Uh, next is a really cool um, find. This is just a mason jar, although I say just. It is from, ooh, there's some sticker residue on the bottom. It is uh, from eight, like 1871, I think it said May. I can't read this right now, but it's already listed in my store on eBay. You can find me at, my username is I Dream a lot, but my store name is still Kimberly's Closet for some reason. It was supposed to be changed and it's just, it just won't go through. I don't know. So, but you can find me either way. Um, and it's listed, but it's an antique mason jar with the zinc and glass uh, lid. So what caught my attention, because I've, I mean, we see these all the time, right? And um, I've had a couple with the zinc uh, lid, and those are cool. But this one is zinc. I've, I had never seen this, the zinc with the glass insert. So the, the zinc lids I've had in the past have just been, you know, the whole, the whole thing is zinc. Um, so I think there might be a couple little like kind of chips or just like rough edges around like that rim of the opening of the glass. But I just noted that, um, in the listing and that's fine and I believe it's listed for $39.99 there's one other one listed I think for like $49 or best offer I'm kind of playing around with turning off best offer on some of my items and just listing at a lower price I'm just kind of messing with it um yeah I don't mind people usually send me fair offers but sometimes they send really low offers so I don't know we'll see this is just a little um like belt basically um very like boho with it's just crochet with like these uh tan colored like beads and so you would just you know wrap it around your your whatever garment you're wearing and then kind of tie it and just let that hang I actually um may keep this that might be cute for you know when I go to Vegas to see my girl Lainey Wilson um I don't know I thought that was cute it was only two dollars these belts are really cute you guys know I love picking up belts if you see um good quality leather belts men or women men's or women's pick pick them up if they're only a couple bucks again this was two dollars and you can just see this is so like um boho hippie you know all those fun keywords western and it just has like the 
kind of brass um, buckle and and then that's that little kind of stud or whatever and then, and then you just pull it through or push it through yeah and it's a women's size medium so I don't remember what I think like you know $24.99 on that one and then and that one didn't have like a brand or anything I just provided measurements I say medium just because it was very similar to this and this is a women's medium it's old navy genuine leather and it's like a floral um, buckle and then it also has some floral I'm gonna have to get closer to you guys it has floral detail on the uh, leather, like embossed on the leather. Really pretty. So, and this is a women's size medium. And let's see, pull, just pull it through. And where? Oh, yeah. And then the little hook. Yep. So, very nice. Again, those same keywords. And this, I think I have listed at like $19.99. Um, so yeah, belts are always good, especially, you know, good quality leather. Those aren't super expensive or anything, but I think they'll sell pretty well because of the style of the belt. They're on trend um, and they're leather and they feel good. Like they feel like good quality. Next is just this... Um, Kind of like I guess floral print like tapestry style bag um, and then the strap has like these wood rings um, the strap is wide very wide cute yeah kind of like that hippie boho that same same kind of vibe and the zipper works well it functions as it should it has one inside zipper pocket and just plain black lining very clean and it just the tag reads 100 percent cotton made in guatemala so it's not going to go for a lot but i would have liked to have found this you know at the beginning of spring summer because it's oh my hair um, kind of more that vibe, but yeah, I'll list it probably for 20, 28 and hopefully get at least $20 for that. But I think it'll sell pretty quickly. If it doesn't, it's going to be something I have to hold on to until the spring. These are a good find. These are like almost new. These are, um, just a pair of Justin. So nothing crazy, but they're in excellent condition. Cowboy boots or cowgirl, because they're a women's 10. So you can see the bottoms are very clean. They maybe wore them one time. And the they're oil resistant. They're a 10 medium. I think I already have them listed. And they are listed, I think, I don't remember, maybe... $39.99. Yeah, so I should get between $30 and $40 on those. And then these were a fun little find. They're tiny, but I think they'll do well. I already have a couple watchers. These are Harley Davidson. So there's, I don't know if it's picking up. Yeah, there we go. You can see like the Harley on the front there. There we go. And just all the little details like the Harley on the buckles. Um, sh show somewhere, you know, in the toes and, um, but the tread on the bottom is really good. But, and then there's the Harley there on the bottom. And then they have the inside full zip. They are a women's size five and a half. They are real leather and they feel like actually a very high quality leather. And I think these are probably almost vintage. I'm guessing just by the quality, um, they're made in China, but it's not like made in China in like 
today's world because <laughs> not to be mean but most stuff that's made in China right now just you can feel just the poor quality it's just it is what it is um, these feel high quality they feel like a very good um, substantial leather soft but very you know thick and durable so these were a great find and I should get at least I think I, you know what, I listed them for $29.99, so $30 I expect to get, and the buyer will of course pay shipping. Um, I think that's it for hard goods. Let's jump in to the clothing. So let's see, let me, <laughs> I didn't think this through. I have this whole pile over here. Let me just kind of scoot the pile. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. You guys, I did so much organization this weekend. I got everything organized. I got everything that was like in my death pile. I got it all photographed. Um, not quite put away because I need to still, I'm, what I'm doing is I'm resisting buying more bins because I really want to go through the bins in the garage condense as much as I can and then kind of go through and weed out um, items that I just need to let go. Uh, but anyways, so yeah, not everything's put away, but we're getting there. But I got so much organization done and I'm so happy I took pictures of everything. So everything's on my phone. So like today I had a little bit of a break and I just, I listed a couple things. I did that this morning. I did that last night. So it's just on my phone and I can just be listing like a few times throughout the day. So my goal is every single day to get at least five listings. And I mean, that sounds low, but that's just kind of where I'm at right now. Like if I can get five consistently every day, then before you know it, everything will be listed and then it'll be easier to keep up. But I'd like to do five to 10 consistently every day. And I think I can do that once I'm just um, more organized and caught up. So let's get into it. All right, you guys. So Saturday I was at Goodwill and I did not I only wanted to stay like an hour and a half because I just knew I had a lot to do at home. But they kept freaking bringing out new racks. Like <laughs> I would be at this end of the store and I would hear the rack. Like I would hear the cart or the clothing rack and I'm just like, oh my God. And <laughs> I would totally try and play it off. So cool. Like I'm not like rushing to the rack like a crazy person. But inside I was rushing to, and so one of the last racks they brought out or the last one before I left, cause I was like, I just gotta go. Um, I walked over there and not one, but two of these were hanging. And so I felt the fabric and I'm like, oh, that's something. Sure enough, barefoot dreams. So, I never find barefoot dreams. I have found it one time. Um, so this one is just like an open knit, kind of just super cozy cardigan. And it has like the front pockets and it's just gray. And I mean, the fabric on these is just crazy. I don't, I don't even understand how they make it so like, it's just, it's thick but like so cozy and soft it's crazy nylon rayon from bamboo this is the bamboo chic line so i haven't comp these and i don't know like am i getting excited and these are no longer a thing but i think oh and it's an xl isn't it let's see yeah an xl so I haven't comped, but I'm assuming this will go for at least $30. So I haven't listed my clothing yet that I got, but let me grab the other one. So the other one is just a little lighter gray and it is a 1X and it's the same thing, the Barefoot Dreams Bamboo Chic line. And this is kind of more like an open 
um, again, open, but the waterfall kind of neckline. Um, and I don't think this one has pockets. Let's see. Um, yeah, no, there's no pockets on this one. Yep. So yeah, so hopefully each of those will go for $30 each, which I'm pretty sure they will. Next is a J. Jill, let's see, Pure Jill. And now this is just a size small, but it was in very good condition, not a lot of wear, no like pilling really. It's kind of like, a, let me hold this up. It's almost like thermal, and then it has like kind of like the exposed like seams like to look like it's inside out. It's tunic length and the bottom is almost like that more like sheer like almost like a linen blend. So it's almost has like that mixed media kind of style. It's just a size small. So if this was a size large, I'd be really happy. But it's just a small 100% cotton. So I haven't comped this, but I'm thinking I should definitely get $20 for that. And again, it was on sale. It was $250. Um, so I figured, you know, that's bringing my average cost of goods down. Um, oh, this is fun. Yes. Pretty in pink. That's all I can think. Pretty in pink. Molly Ringwald. Um, look at this. <laughs> okay. So it's strapless, okay, pink lace, let me stand up, <laughs> look at that bow, you guys, I think I may have, uh, did I have this dress, <laughs> I don't know, I feel like I've totally seen this dress, Brandy, Brandy, did you wear this dress to one of the formals, <laughs> I think, I've seen this dress. Wow, this brings back memories. But yeah, so this is authentic vintage, um, you know, party dress, prom dress, whatever. Um, does it have a size? Made in USA, just all the good stuff. It doesn't have a size, but that's okay. I will do measurements. I may even try it on just to kind of like compare. Um, but it has no flaws. It's in excellent condition. And guess what? It was half off. I got this for $2.50. Yeah. So it was interesting that day. I feel like someone donated a bunch of vintage stuff, like maybe a reseller who donated like a death pile, or maybe they got out of reselling, but there was a lot of vintage stuff. So I almost thought about doing a separate haul at, just for the vintage stuff because I picked up some, some good vintage pieces. And I left a lot behind too because I was so overwhelmed with the mess of a death pile that I had at home. And I haven't had the best of luck with my vintage stuff. And I feel like I have a pretty good eye for vintage. Um, but for whatever reason, and I know vintage, you have to just wait for your buyer. I totally get that. And I'm okay with that. Um, but right now, just because I'm so overwhelmed with inventory and I'm trying to get my inventory down to 500 steady, you know, just solid pieces so that I'm, you know, stuff is going out, stuff is coming in, going out, but I'm always at about 500. So, um, I don't know. We'll see what's there this weekend. I may pick up some more if it's still there. All right. This is a vintage like 90s uh, maxi dress. It's vintage white stag. Um, 50, no, 60% cotton, 40% polyester, and it's a women's large. Here's the print. It's very fall. And it's just one of those just, you know, has the two front pockets the waist high in the back, maxi dress. So modest, teacher, um, those are kind of some of the keywords. Um, what other keywords do you guys use for these dresses? It's not a pinafore style. It's not 
an apron style. Um, would you say jumper? I don't know, but, and this feels like dead stock almost. And it's like an, I don't think that's black. I think, I don't know. The base color almost looks like a very dark olive green. I'll look at it in the sunlight. It's like nine o'clock at night right now. Um, so, but yeah, I'll definitely get at least $30 for that. Next, oh, I haven't I haven't comped any of this stuff really because a lot of this stuff so far I just knew like okay yes you pick that up. <laughs> this is vintage Wrangler. This is extra long. Let's see, it says X long tails. Here, look at that tag. I've never seen that. So it's pearl snap made in the USA and 16 and a half by 36. Those are the measurements. I guess that's the neck, right? 16 and a half. I'm not going to button the neck, but I'll just do like a couple of the snaps. And it's this cool um, blue and white stripe, like kind of like that, <laughs> like railroad kind of um, style that's what it reminds me of but yeah just long sleeve pearl snap wrangler vintage men's shirt i imagine this will go for a minimum of 30 dollars, but it could be 40 or 50 i don't know um i haven't comped this and i i i know i have sold i mean i've sold pearl snap men's shirts before i don't know that i've ever sold a true vintage Wrangler. Um, so I'm excited to look that up. If you know anything about it, uh, leave a comment below and let me know. But it's really cool. I just noticed that the hemline has like a raw, kind of like a raw edge. Let's see. That's what I really noticed. See that? Yeah, it's really cool. It's just so well made. Gosh, I mean, you can just tell just the quality of workmanship in um, vintage clothing. It's just, it's a shame that if you want that type of quality these days, it's like you you really have to, um, you know, you have to go with the more expensive brands and a lot of people can't afford that. And so they come to the resale market, you know, Poshmark, eBay, and so forth. Oh, here's another hard, oh, I do have more hard goods. So, all right, whatever. So this is a wool blanket, like stadium, like lap blanket, throw. Those are some keywords. And it's that um, Faribo line, F-A-R-I-B-O. Um, and there's their tag. I've sold this um, brand before. And it's just a little, you know, plaid with the fringe. I forget how much these go for. $30, maybe $40. Um, for this size. I can't exactly remember, um, but this is kind of that brighter red, so more of like an orangey red, not like the real dark like brick red. Um, so I just have to look that up because I can't remember what they go for, but good find. It will definitely sell, so that's why I picked that up. There's a couple... It just needs like a wash. I mean, nothing gross or anything, but, um, you know, I wasn't even thinking, and normally I don't bring blankets or anything like that into my house. I leave them in the garage, like in a bag, and I leave them there for a couple days. And then I spray them down like a wool blanket that you can't wash. I spray them down with like my Lysol. Um, but I had everything like, kind of laid out in the back seat and I just yeah anyway I'm sure it'll be fine but I don't yeah I don't make a practice of bringing in any sort of bedding um, without washing and sanitizing and all of that this is um, a great brand to buy in larger size dresses it's just Lauren Ralph Lauren so I love picking up this brand in larger sizes. This is a women's size 16 and um, uh, 
it's kind of like a three quarter sleeve. Um, it has that crisscross front, so almost like that wrap dress look. And yeah, and then it's like a knee length dress, very stretchy um, fabric. And yeah, it actually is definitely like a, cause it has kind of the crisscross in the front too. So very like a wrap style dress, size 16, and that will um, go for about $30. Next is just a little North Face size small little zip up uh, jacket. So there's the North Face tags and then the back has that North Face. Um, just a couple little pockets. I actually, I think I'm going to keep that for myself. So I need to wash that. I'll save that. This is Chico's. You guys know I love picking up Chico's. This is a size two. So this is an example of, I saw this on Friday. It's just a little linen open front, a uh, little cardigan jacket with three quarter sleeves. Nothing wrong with it, no flaws. But I saw this on Friday and it was only, I think $5. I think it was $4.99, but it's the end of summer. People aren't, you know, actively searching for linen. Um, we're going into fall. And so I thought, you know, I have a lot of Chico's right now. I have linen that hasn't sold yet. Um, I'm going to go ahead and leave it behind. If it's here tomorrow, meaning Saturday, it'll be half off because I knew the color tag. I knew that, um, red was going to be half off and this was a red tag and so i just told myself you know what if it's here um tomorrow then i'll pick it up for 250 and it was still there so i went ahead and got it so i should get 25 or 30 um definitely but i may have to sit on it for a while just because again people aren't actively searching for linen all right these few pieces were from the Mission Thrift Store. So this is just, I don't know anything about this brand. And again, you guys know my cost of goods at the Mission Thrift Store is about a dollar. This is $2.25. That's the brand. Okay. And it's a wool blend, size small, right? Cotton, polyester, and wool. And it's just a little open front knit like blazer jacket and it has so you see that it's nice knit and then it has like the two front pockets and I just thought that was a really nice um basic kind of minimalist um wardrobe staple um so I'm thinking definitely $30 but I need to comp that. I don't know anything about that brand. It could be nothing, um, but we'll see. And I also thought if it's not going to fetch that much, I'll try it on and that might be something good for me for work during the winter. Another, I think I have two more pieces from my little um, thrift store. This was a great piece. The brand doesn't matter, but I'll show you um, the tag. It's Erica. Woman dresses, 3X, 100% cotton, uh, made in Bangladesh. So there's the tag. So it's a women's plus size, 100% cotton. And it is one of those maxi dresses, probably from the early 2000s late 90s but i'm thinking early 2000s has the waist you know back tie um but look how cute the front is with let me get in the there we go see how the ties are they button there in the front and then you tie it in the back and then they have the little buttons going up the chest from like the waist and then this floral and then kind of scalloped neckline and then the back has a zipper so yeah 
very nice. It has little shoulder pads. So, you know, it probably is from the 90s because I don't think we used shoulder pads in anything in the 2000s. So um, this is actually probably late 90s. Um, Bangladesh. Yeah, so I'm going to say this is vintage 90s. So that will go for at least 30, but this is so nice. I am going to list this probably for like $49.99 or best offer and shoot for $40. But if not, it'll definitely go for 30 or more, not less than 30. And that was really nice. Then same kind of theme. And again, this uh, was from that thrift store. And again, the, the brand doesn't matter, but this is definitely like 80s, early 90s. Talk of America sportswear, 100% cotton, and this is made in India. And this is a size, plus size 24. There's the tag. And this one's sleeveless. And then it has all these little like bird houses. So again, I'll use modest teacher, um, gardening, and yeah, it has the maxi dress, it has buttons going up, has pockets, yeah, so again, another $30, okay, oh, this is another good find, this is also, this is, I think, the last piece from the thrift store, I've already washed this, um, and this is like a faux suede, so 90s Y2K with like the faux Sherpa lining. It's like a ivory and let me, um, it's mud. You guys remember that brand and it's on the zipper. So all that faux Sherpa. And then there's the tag, the inside tag. And I think it's a size large. Oh, extra large. So it's a junior's extra large. Um, but yeah, I'll take a measurements. And so that'll fetch at least $30. That's very on trend right now. So, so far we're doing good, right? With my goal of $30 or more. All right, here's another great vintage piece. This is probably 60s late 60s, maybe early 70s. This is 100% polyester, of course, and it's a la mode. I love like the vintage tags. <laughs> There's that. And this is just so cute. It's like an ivory, like cream color really with, um, I think that's brown. Yeah, chocolate brown. So there's the neck <laughs> with the polka dots. And then it's um, like this stretchy like knit, kind of looks like sweater, like almost like a like cable knit kind of look. And then the little waist and then just the plain um, cream polyester skirt. Yeah, so cute. No flaws, nothing, nothing wrong with it. I don't, I don't like buying vintage stuff like this that's flawed unless it's something like a great brand, like if it was Lily Pulitzer vintage from the 60s, yeah, I'm picking that up. <laughs> but yeah, so that'll definitely go for at least 30, but I will list that high. There's nothing wrong with it. Um, so I'll probably list that for $49.99 or best offer and expect to get at least 30, if not 40. Here's another great authentic vintage um, this is probably, yeah, 70s. Um, Shady Lane, a division of Jonathan Logan. I have no idea who that is. Size 9, 10. But I'll look up these brands because you never know. They could, they could be something. I don't know. So there's the label. And then it has like the union um, label there with the size and everything. So let me zip this up so you guys can see it's like a little mock neck and it has um oh does it have the eye yeah it, has, it still has the hook and eye and everything um 
So yeah, there's a zip and then a little hook and eye. Look how cute. Is it black? Yeah, the dress is black in case you can't see. And then the little sleeves with like the red and cream striped little, little cuff. And then it just, yeah, and it has like a little A-line um, skirt. And it's knee length, mini to knee length. But how adorable, no flaws, very good condition. So again, I will list that for $49.99 or best offer. So cute. That one's really cute. Both of those are really cute. Um, okay. Now this is interesting. I came across several pieces of this. Is this brand? No, 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 no. This was something different. This was a great find. This is Cynthia Ashby. Um, good sell-through rate. I can't remember if it was 100%, um, but these pieces go for quite a bit. It's very much like that lagging look, you know, artsy, art to wear um, type of garments, linen, cotton, interesting like um, button snap kind of detail on the skirt. So this is a gray skirt, um, that's the front, that's the back, um, not much to say, it's just, um, you know, stretchy waist, I don't even know if it had a size tag, let's see here, I may just have to do measurements, there are no other tags with um, fabric content or anything, oh yes, here we go. Let's see, it's pretty faded. Oh yeah, 55% linen, 42% cotton, 3% uh, spandex, and it is, I'm gonna need my small, size small. Yep, so I'll take measurements, um, but yeah, I'll definitely get, uh, the comps are high, but this is a little, you know, just kind of worn and faded, but it, I mean, it also has that look to it. So it will definitely sell. And I think it'll sell pretty quickly. Um, but, you know, $30, $40. But a lot of these were going for, you know, much higher. So that was great. Cynthia Ashby. Um, this was New with Tags J. Crew. And it's the black label with the cursive writing. It's not like J. Crew Factory or anything. And it is a wool sweater with like this pretty like mock or high neckline. And it's kind of like a crochet. And then uh, it has a little keyhole uh, opening in the back. It's a size medium. And it's just like a burgundy, um, just lightweight, thin, little sweater. I have not comp this. So I don't buy a lot of J crew, but when I come across pieces that feel higher quality and the tag is anything but like the J crew factory, um, especially new with tags, I'm going to look the item up. The reason why I didn't bother comping this is because it was on sale. It was like I don't know, I wanna say it was $3, and I figured um, I could always wear this <laughs> to work. So for those reasons, I just didn't even bother comping it, but I am gonna comp this and uh, see what these are going for, and if they have a good sell-through rate, I will list it, and if not, I will just keep it for myself. Um, other things in J. Crew, their blazers. I love finding their blazers. Um, I have the Park P A R K E blazer listed right now. I think for like eighty five, um, and it will sell. The closer we get to you know real fall, fall weather and winter, it will definitely sell for at least sixty. Um, also, the boy, what, what is it? The boyfriend blazer I think or the schoolboy schoolboy blazer but um yeah so even if it's J Crew factory if it's a blazer and in good condition and you know I can get it for five dollars I'm definitely buying it this was just a little um this actually I want to try on for work 
a little just banana republic um gray skirt has little pockets little like kind of like a mini skirt um not quite knee length but i like wearing stuff like this to work in the winter with tights and just like little boots so i'm going to try that on and if not um if it doesn't work for me i'll get maybe 15 dollars for that because it's not wool or anything i don't think all right here's another one of my favorite things to find is these uh, vintage maxi dresses this is like a jumper almost like apron almost like pinafore style buttons all the way down it's fully lined i mean it's gorgeous look at that for fall it's that nice like olive green with like this floral print in the back it has that little waist um little like what do you call those it's like a little buckle like belted in the back thing um and it's just christopher banks so the brand doesn't matter size medium if this was large or plus size it would be even better but i'll definitely get at least 30 dollars for that it's very nice very well made great color um these are classic they never go out of style um people are always searching for these because believe it or not these aren't the easiest style of dresses to find right now like if you were to go to the mall um these aren't easy to find so for all those reasons people come to like ebay and poshmark macari uh, to find these dresses. So if you use the right keywords, you're going to get your buyer. And this will go for at least $30, maybe a little bit more because it literally seems like it's never even been worn. I will still say pre-owned. This is not new, but I will stay, I will state in the listing, you know, pristine condition, no signs of wear, um, you know, fully lined. I mean, it definitely has um, some details going for it that just make it, you know, just a higher, higher quality. The buttons are all intact. They're not like loose and hanging. I mean, it's very, very well made and in excellent condition. Okay, next, these are so cute. These are Anthropology. Um, just by Anthropology, they are a women's size four um, plaid little just pants with like a little cuff at the bottom and just little cute work pants pockets. So again, these are so cute. I may have to try those on if they work for me. I will probably... Um, keep them for work they're so cute with just like a little mock um neck like thin form fitting kind of sweater and just some little loafers that would be so cute with little gold hoop earrings oh my gosh so cute i imagine it in my head so cute but then i try it on and i'm like ooh, that does not look good but it really would look cute on someone else <laughs> Okay, this is another brand that I never find, Masuk. And these are an XL. So these are just a pair of black pull-on pants, like a wide leg. Um, and they're kind of like almost like sheer, not sheer, but semi-sheer almost when you hold them up to the light. They are acrylic and polyester um not much to say about these i bought them because of the brand and the style and the size so masuk you know is um you know a very you know nice brand um you know good quality i mean even just the edges of these pants are just so clean and well made so yeah i'm not sure the comp on that maybe 30 could be more I don't know Masuk is expensive so we shall see my gosh you guys I got some good stuff considering I'm not like in LA or something <laughs> or Texas you know in Austin or Houston or 
you know, some cool place in, I don't know, New York, Boston. I'm in West Virginia, you guys. This is Free People. It's this little sheer lightweight leopard top. The sleeves are like cute, like, you know, kind of um, pleated, like puff kind of shoulders. And then it's like a three quarter sleeve, very stretchy. And it's like a turtleneck. Um, yeah. And then there, it's like all, there's some lining there. And where is our free people tag? There we go. Yeah, so I don't know, 20 bucks, 25 maybe, we'll see. It's a size small, I think. But you know, free people, it's like, that could fit like a large. <laughs> um, okay, here we go. Here's some more kind of lagging look garments and this was a brand I never heard of so let me know there just was not a lot of information on this brand and so okay this is size small 100% linen made in USA but now I can't see the tag hold on let me get one of the other garments because I'm pretty sure because I saw a bunch pretty sure this is the same brand but for whatever reason there's not a label in here it's Steel Pony here. So there's that label. Okay, so this one I'll just tell you, I think is silk. Let's see if we can find a tag with the fabric content. Um, it definitely feels like silk. I found a tag. <laughs> Okay, this is a size one, which to me is like vanity sizing. So I'm going to have to look up, well, what is a one? Um, yes, 100% silk. It says part 100% silk. So that's like the dress part. I can tell what the silk part is. And then the other part is 100% Bemberg? Bem I don't know. I've never heard of that. I'll show you the fabric. It just kind of feels like a, a cotton or linen, like a natural fabric. Really cool. So this, I'll just stand up and show you. This is a dress. We don't know what size it is, but you know, just very lagging look, art to wear, just funky, fun, artsy um, garment dress. So yeah, look at that fun graphic. And so I'll find out the size. It looks probably like a medium, maybe a small, but looks like, no, it's a medium, like a women's medium. Um, so I'm thinking at least $30. I need to do more research though. Now this is kind of, you know, along those same lines. It does not have a tag, um, but I will do my best to figure it out. And this is sleeveless and again kind of mixed media asymmetrical hemline kind of has like this knotted detail on the side with this hanging handkerchief kind of hemline um it's like a pretty blue yeah with like black all that black like embroidery so I'm not sure. I don't know. 30, 40, 50 dollars. I don't know. I have to figure it out. But those pieces are definitely gonna sell. I'm not even worried about it. And then another steel pony. And these are a, again size one. And I don't know what a one is for steel pony. I'll have to figure that out. But these are just again like a lightweight linen or cotton. I don't know. I'll try and find the tag little cropped uh, pants, really pretty blue. And they have like all this kind of, like that's made to like see it all going down the leg. And this bottom part feels like silk and it has pockets in the front, like slash pockets. And then there's the back, you know, and like stuff on the back there. But yeah, super fun. 
and but there's no label with the fabric content um, but I would definitely say these are linen <laughs> Um, so again, maybe $30 on those. I think that's it for the steel pony. There was other stuff that I left behind. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I've been feeling under the weather, but I took a COVID test and it's negative. Um, cause I didn't want to like touch all this stuff if I had COVID, like that's weird. Um, okay. This is another cool vintage. So this is... Mr. Noah, size large, polyester and cotton, made in Taiwan. So this is 80s, I'm sure, like early 80s. There we go. Maybe 70s, but I'm thinking more like early 80s. You guys, why couldn't I have found this like right before the Barbie core really took off? It is a pink jumpsuit. Look at this, you guys. Zips up. pockets come on full length and then what zippers and elastic at the bottom I mean come on this is insane no flaws no stains nothing you guys I'm listing this high I'm and when I say hi I'm whoa whoops <laughs> I fell like on top of the zipper and it like poked into my knee. Oh my God, that totally hurt. Okay. Um, I'm listing this at like 150 bucks. Um, this is so insane. This is so cool. I mean, just such a cool piece. Somebody is just going to go nuts for this. They're going to love it. I see one tiny, 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 like, I mean, it's like, a pin size little teeny you see that and it's like in the inside of the leg like that it's nothing nothing um okay so that yeah that was cool so I will list that I'll definitely be you know getting on top of my Etsy um yeah so I'm loving I got my first offer on Etsy last week or the week before for a vintage bedspread that I've had listed forever. And it was so pretty, I can't believe it hadn't already sold, but somebody offered me 50 bucks and I accepted it. So that was, um, oh, I see another little dirt mark, but you guys, it's like nothing, it's actually wiping off. Um, yeah, so that was cool to, that, how do you, I mean, I don't know, if you guys are on Etsy, how do you feel about that? I love it that somebody can send me an offer because I list high on Etsy. Um, so that's probably part of the reason why I haven't been getting sales and the fact that I never list on there, but my stuff is priced pretty high on Etsy because I used to stay on top of it and run sales and, um, you just always get more for your vent, for your good vintage stuff on Etsy. That's how it was before. I don't know how it is now, but they're, ex they're accepting, um, or they added that feature where buyers can send you an offer. Um, and then I think you can counter. Yeah, you can counter. Um, but yeah, so I'm excited. So I will list that pink jumpsuit for about $150. Um, and we'll see what happens. I will keep you updated. All right, this is another vintage piece. You guys, this is, my gosh, this is like an exciting day. This is good stuff. Okay, this is, and again, this was on that new rack. This is Shirley of Hollywood. Size small, medium. It's just 100% polyester. And it's made in Vietnam. This is probably like 80s, maybe 90s. But it is a long red silky robe with um, some pretty like lace detail. And the sleeves are like pretty, like flowy, like bell sleeve. And it has pockets. 
yeah so it has like the slash pockets and then it's belted and the belt is attached to the robe so you're not losing it and it's full length it is full length yes so we are loving that and i will list that for at least probably 75 and hope to get between 40 and 50 but yeah i'll definitely list that high it's in great condition and um yeah so I'm excited about that. Here is a cute little sweater. This is just J. Crew Factory, size medium. But the reason I bought it, first of all, it was on sale. So it was $250. Has all these cute little reindeer. And the little gems. There's nothing missing. There's no damage. Wait, are they reindeer or now I'm like, wait, are they rain? <laughs> are those llamas? Those are llamas. Oh, yeah, those are llamas. <laughs> Wait, I have to look at, because you know, alpaca. No, I'm pretty sure these are llama, but I'll double check. But anyway, that these types of sweaters, you know, with like cute novelty print, um, those usually do well. So I think I'll get 25 for that. And then this was a cool find. This is a vintage, and you guys know I am not good with my vintage t-shirts as far as dating them, but I will look this tag up and decide. It's made in the USA. It's Cal Crew, Cal, C-A-L, Crew, C-R-U. It's an adult size large. It does not say where it's in, yeah made in usa 100 percent pre-shrunk cotton and the oh and it is single stitch awesome this is getting better and better you guys look at this graphic this is san antonio look at that how nice is that how freaking cool is that that is why i got this yeah and then a little a little hit on the sleeve right there yeah so i don't know i'll list that probably 50 bucks and see what happens it is so cool no damage everything's cool um but i will comp it and just kind of see if there's anything else like it um but i'm thinking it's really nice you guys yeah, I, I might list that a little higher. I'll, I'll, I'll figure it out. All right, last few things. So, you guys know if you ever see anything Ikea to look it up, right? People search for certain things um, from Ikea that are no longer being made or being sold at Ikea. Um, so... I saw these and I knew these were the um, covers for the Ektorp E-K-T-O-R-P sofa sold at Ikea because I used to have the love seat. In fact, I had the love seat just up until a few weeks ago and it turned into my dog bed <laughs> in the like lower level called the basement um, and it was just so ruined and yeah, I just, so I got rid of it. But so I knew that's what these were. So there was one floral one. So here's, there's the tag. There's Ector. And so I will just enter, you just enter the Ectorp and then 22891. That's like the number that people will search right there to find replacements for their sofas and love seats. Um, and this is the floral one. I didn't see any others like this. Um, so I'll probably list this for about $60 or best offer. And I'll definitely get at least $30 or $40. Um, but probably close to my $60. Uh, there were no other floral ones. So if someone has that print and they get a stain or a rip, they're gonna go to eBay and try and find it. And they may save that search. So as soon as you list it, they receive an alert and it'll sell right away. Or I could sit on that for a year, but hey, 
it's easy look at fold it up <laughs> done <laughs> it was five bucks all of these were five dollars so now i have one two three four five six so what i'm thinking and we'll have to take a look but okay so this is just like a tan um same thing cushion cover this one is like the um back cushion so see how it has that so it would actually go like this on the sofa and where that dip is that would set on the arm i know i mean well you know it just by looking at it but i also have the sofa so this one will have a different number and so you want to make sure you put in that number and like back cushion kind of thing um all right so we have so this might be a whole set for the love seat so then another cushion just for the cushion so that's two cushions okay and then if this is another no this is another cushion okay so this was for the sofa because the love seat has two cushions and the sofa has three so that's that and then one of the um, arm pieces so then we have a different this is like a canvas tan it's a little different and this is the back cushion and this will have a different number so this is number um one five one four eight so you put that in the title and describe what it is and then this is just the regular cushion and so the, all the cushion ones like the seat cushion should have the same number let's see oh they cut the tag out of this one shoot well i will measure it just to make sure it's, it's all the same um, what I was wondering is if that number changes depending on the color or the pattern. So let's look at this one. 22891. Okay, so this one. 22891. Okay, so if they're the seat cushion, they're all the same numbers. So yeah, so we have one, two, three, four five six seven and i will get thirty dollars minimum for each of those yeah so over two hundred dollars and i spent 35 on all those because there's seven and they were were they four each or five well they were five each but remember my cost of goods is always around four dollars so yeah so that is it you guys that was a good haul i think that's one of my better hauls um lately so i'm excited i'm starting to get this stuff listed i still have to photograph all these clothes and yeah the seat cushions everything <laughs> i have the boots listed um but yeah so leave a comment and if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel i'm trying to grow this channel um and i love sharing what i'm finding and hopefully i'm providing some education but again it's just for fun right don't take everything i say and like go okay kimberly said this so i'm gonna do this like you have to like this is kind of like you know oh planting the seed kind of thing oh yeah i remember kimberly said something about this brand and oh i just found it let me look it up that kind of thing um, but yeah, that's it guys. So have a very good, successful week, um, whatever that means for you. And I will be back in a couple of days with a what sold video. That's it. All right. Good night guys.